In a major breakthrough for the regime of Kim Jong-un, the U.S. government confirmed that North Korea test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile. Launched from an airfield north of Pyongyang, the missile traveled in a steep arc that topped out at more than 1,740 vertical miles. That's roughly seven times higher than the International Space Station. After 37 minutes, the missile splashed down in the Sea of Japan, almost 600 miles from its launch point. David Wright, senior scientist at the Union of Concerned Scientists, wrote that if the missile was fired at a normal trajectory, it could reach a maximum range of more than 4,000 miles. It wouldn't be able to reach Hawaii in the lower 48 states, but it could target all of Alaska. Although the North claims it has made small nuclear warheads, there's no evidence to date that they are capable of building one to fit on its longer range missiles. But North Korea has advanced its nuclear and ballistic missile program at an unprecedented rate since Kim Jong-un came to power. And the development of a nuclear armed missile that can reach the US mainland is one of Kim Jong-un's biggest goals. So why did this missile fly so high? A government spokeswoman said in a bulletin read on state-run television that the missile's trajectory was deliberately set at the highest angle to avoid harming nearby countries. That claim rang true to U.S. analysts who agreed the high arc was probably intended to avoid the possibility of hitting Japanese territory. The flight path could also help North Korea keep the nuts and bolts of the missile a secret by sending the parts splashing into the deep waters of the Sea of Japan. It would be hard, if not impossible, for U.S. and Japanese divers to retrieve the wreckage.